It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, 7th period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us, so everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could tell. We didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers, so our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas, the Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes, and then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked at each other, realizing this must be serious. A few more minutes of waiting later, we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway. Two girls in the class actually started crying, which made all of us even more scared. As the screaming got closer to the classroom, the lunatic-sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming, I'll kill all of you. It was at that moment that I started to fear for my life. My teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door. And that's when one of the crying girls screamed no. The banging on the door only grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person until we could not hear him anymore. I'd say 10 minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could afford proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any students leave for any reasons. The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs.